Phantom, how's it going? It's your boy Hardcover, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Black Widow trade paperback that is coming out as the Book of the Week segment. Let's get into it. If you've been reading comics for the past five years, you should absolutely be familiar with the creative team of this book. I'm talking about Mark Wade and Chris Samney. These guys are legendary at this point. I am not over exaggerating. A few years ago they took over the reins of the Daredevil series and oh my goodness what they did was pure magic. It should come as no surprise that when they were announced to be the creative team for the Black Widow series, fans went nuts and it was an automatic day one buy for a lot of us. The story centers around the character of Black Widow and at the beginning of the story she is outed. All her information has been leaked and S.H.I.E.L.D. has gotten a hold of it, which makes her public enemy number one for S.H.I.E.L.D. She soon finds out that there is this villain called the Weeping Lion that has leaked out all her files and all her information to S.H.I.E.L.D., thus putting her in the predicament that she's in and setting up one of the greatest modern day runs on the character. Black Widow is a character that has always fascinated me, however I haven't read too much on her. I mean, she's always made kind of a little appearances here and there in books like Daredevil, and I've always found her to be interesting. This is actually the first series that I personally am going to be dying in and is actually the reason why I chose it as my pick of the week plus the creative team like I've already said is badass so let's talk about the art for a moment Chris Samney's style is really really good I love this guy's style it's really blocky and it kind of harkens back to classic Bruce Tim classic Darwin Cook style where it's not too cartoony but at the same time it has cartoony elements of it a lot of the characters are very square jawed things like that and I really love the look what I also like about Samney is the fact that he likes to let the panels breathe. And what I mean by that is that there will be panels where there is no dialogue, however, the mood is there, the tension is there. You get the sense that, wow, something is about to go down. You get the sense that you understand what the character is going on in their head. It takes a very special artist and a very special draftsman, in my opinion, to pull that off. And he's very good at it. Mark Wayne and Chris Samney aren't the only ones that came back for this run as well. Here you have Matthew Wilson, who was also the colorist for a lot of Mark Wade's Daredevil run, and I have to say, it's kind of interesting to see his colors here from how they were in the Daredevil run because he tends to use a lot more blacks and a lot more different shades of gray in this versus the vibrant colors that you see in Daredevil. I think that has to do a lot with the fact that Mark Wade was looking for more of an upbeat interpretation of the character of Daredevil versus here when you have a crime-fighting Black Widow who is dealing with leaked information and government agencies that are trying to kill her. Currently retailing for about $8.99 on in-stock trades, if you're looking for something that'll push you over that $50 limit to get you the free shipping. This is absolutely a perfect little pickup. You're getting the first six issues of a kick-ass team writing a character that I feel has been underutilized in the Marvel Universe and you're getting a perfect starting point and you're also getting her origins and you get to see where she comes from. What more can you ask for? There you have it guys, that is the book of the week. I hope you enjoyed this little segment that I create for you every single week. Thank you once again so much for the Patreons. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Patreons, patrons, I'm not exactly sure how that's pronounced, but you get the point. Thank you so much, honestly guys. You really help keep this channel alive. I know I say it like every video, I know I keep saying it a lot and I'm rambling at this point, but honestly, thank you so much. Love you guys. I will see you all the rest of this week. Bye.